Hello and welcome back to Tingle Winger 5. Today we're going to look at some smart wearable tech. This is the Lifebeam headwear. It's a Lifebeam smart hat. Exactly what it says on the tin. It's a sun hat that's smart. What it does, it measures your heart rate, it counts your calories and the cadence. This is the black cap or hat. Inside of the box we have this hard case which contains the hat itself the Lifebeam logo engraved in the front there, or moulded into the front. And on the bottom there you saw where you put the USB cable. Now we have the Lifebeam quick start guide and some general information like the warranty and things like that. Opening up the hard case, we have inside what looks to be just a regular sun hat. We take it out of its plastic wrap like so. Uh, inside there is a label and there's a mould piece of paper thing which is the OK thing in the bottom right there. That's just a mould chip. And the hat itself is quite a thin material on it. Uh, it's a sturdy uh, sun visor at the front. But already we can see it's not an ordinary cap. So at the front here we have a heart rate sensor. And at the back there is a box. Is the best way to describe that at the moment. And your typical stickers and tags. Inside of here is just a standard micro USB cable to charge up the hat. So let's take a good look at the hat. It's like a regular sun hat uh, with a thin mesh there to keep you cool because you are going to be wearing this whilst you are running. And on the back here we have a power button and a thinner piece of plastic which is going to allow LED light through. I've removed the tag and we're going to have a look at what I described as a box. Now it says you to remove before washing and what you want to do is just undo this velcro here and take out this box. This is where all of the intelligence for the hat is. So this is where the Bluetooth is, the Ant Plus is and how you charge it up. So it also encases the battery itself. And what it does, it connects to the heart rate sensor on the front of the hat with this little jack on the side. And there is a button on the front to turn it on which links up exactly to the power button symbol on the back of the hat as I showed you earlier. So let's have a quick look at the manuals. It tells you to get ready for a run. What's in the box? You get your hat and your USB cable and your case. If we have the status light and it tells you to download the Lifebeam app. So the Lifebeam app itself, uh, not very feature packed, but that's not the intention of, of this app. So what we're going to do is press connect, scan for the hat. It's going to take a little while to connect. You can see it's starting to come online here. We've got the blue light on the hat you saw. And the battery level is going to come up at the bottom any second. 30%. This is what it's shipped with. But obviously it's not going to show heart rate or calories. I've got to put it on my head. So I did. And it's showing me my heart rate, calories, and I'm not moving so obviously there's no cadence. So how easy is this thing to charge up? Well, in short it's very easy. What we're going to do is take this box out. And what you'll see is you don't even have to have the hat around. All you need to do is take this box out. But what I'm going to do initially is plug it in, like so. The blue light shows that it's on, and then we get orange light showing that it's charging. But what I realise is if you unplug the heart rate sensor, you then have the freedom to take the box out of the hat and have the hat elsewhere while it's charging. So it's not going to take up a huge amount of space where you charge your phones normally or wherever else you want to put it. It's going to fit right in. When it's fully charged we'll see the green light on it and then what we want to do is plug the heart rate sensor back in, make sure it's in all the way there and then put it back in its velcro pouch, lining up the power button with the power symbol on the back of the hat. And connecting it up to the Lifebeam app, 80% uh, so I've already used it a little bit at this point just for basic testing and then you notice we have multiple apps that this connects to. Unlike fitness trackers that I've checked in the past, this actually looks for other fitness apps to connect to. So the two I chose to connect to were Endomondo and the Polar app. Now we're going to start with Endomondo. You sign up to the app, you log in with your Google account and then you press settings, go down to accessory settings just down here and what we want to do is link this with the hat. Now the hat is Ant Plus compatible, unfortunately my phone is not. So what I've had to do is activate its sensors and just link it up as a heart rate sensor. So turning it on, we have the blue light confirming that the hat is on. And what the phone will do now is scan for it. 
and you can see in the top left corner I've already got an email from Endomondo confirming my registration. Connecting to the hat is easy, you turn it on and you press the hat. That is how easy it is to link the heart rate sensor to Endomondo and if this was Ant Plus device it would be even easier. Endomondo will use the GPS on your phone to track exactly how far you've ran and where you actually did it. Here is the email that I talked about earlier just telling me about Endomondo and it has a variety of sports that you can choose from so if you're doing any of these sports you can then select that on Endomondo but it does push its premium features which is a subscription service not a one-time purchase on an app and we're going to look at Polar Beat next so already I can't sign in with Google Plus what I do is skip then it asks for my personal information how tall I am what I weigh and how old I am What's new, it actually connects to Google Fit, so it looks at your phone and finds out whether you have a Google Fit account. What you then do is press settings, go to heart rate sensor, and you press pair on the life beam hat. It is that easy. Battery is full on the life beam hat, because I've just charged it. I took some screenshots of the two when I went out running. Endomondo, you can see he's pushing ads at me, whereas Polar is not. And Polar is a lot clearer when you're running around to look at much bigger and bolder letters. After you've finished you get a summary from both of those so Endomondo pushes social whereas Polar you can actually select how you feel after your run. Back to the hat itself it's very comfortable to wear I'm not aware that it has this heart rate sensor at the front or the box at the back I don't feel those it's very clever in its design. It does have a blue light on the back but that's not really an issue but I know the questions that you're asking and that is can I wear it like a cool guy? and if you want to wear it backwards or you want to wear it sideways well you can but it won't pick up the heart rate sensor only needs to go through a thin layer of hair which I don't have on the back or on the sides uh, if you're balding maybe you do but it needs to either touch your skin or only go through a small amount of hair and battery wise the hat is actually really good so after all my tests I could only get it down to about 75% Overall, the hat is good, it's comfortable, it's easy to connect to the apps, and it would have been even easier if I'd have bought an up-to-date phone and used the Ant Plus functionality. For those of you who don't know, Ant Plus is a profiling sort of thing, so it would recognise the hat and take in all of its features, not just the heart rate sensor. So it would attract steps and even more. Then you wouldn't need the app to just measure on GPS. So overall, Life Beam hat, if I wore hats, I would absolutely wear the Life Beam hat. So in future, if I'm going to wear a hat, I will wear a Life Beam hat. But I don't tend to wear hats myself. I'm just not a hat person. But if you do, I would absolutely recommend this. Uh, it works as a sun hat. I think that's really important with this wearable technology. Uh, something like the Fitbit Flex was supposed to be a smart band. They ended up calling it not a smart watch. Uh, and that had no watch functionality, so you were constantly looking at your wrist and there was no clock there. So it didn't really work. But this still works as a sun hat. And it's very easy to pair with any app of your choice. Thanks for watching, everyone.